got in focus, have you? What have we got? What are we doing? Oh, so this was in the trailer when we were scrapping all the metal. Came from my house here. Look at the size of him. Him, her. She's pretty done with life. She probably thinks that life's over. No, it's not. It's not because. Put the back to go. Here you go. See you later. All right, sweet. That's our that's our nature segment done. That's it. <laughs> Ricky's nature, nature Emporium. <laughs> yeah, nature segment. I threw a plastic bag in the green bin. Don't don't try this at home. Bell end. Yeah. Let's start out the front. Let's start with the let's start with the sad parts, <clears throat> and we'll come back to the the slightly better parts, really. I don't know. I don't well, know. actually, these are the better parts. We'll yeah, start. I was going to say that's more of a sad part because we'll go from good not, to bad. Not running, so we're going to start at good and move our way to bad. What so gonna, what are we going to start with? Today's entire video is literally just a little bit of a shit talk on what Ricky's got going on because it'll make sense long term when we do stuff with all this because otherwise you're just gonna be like uh what's going on with uh, this where'd this come from and I don't really need to deal with that so I'm not going so all right I mean even though we've spent some time on this we're probably not gonna worry about it too much because it's already on the channel but so basically just the run of the mill ZZE 122 wagon Corolla five-speed manual whatever cool New gearbox. We're selling it. Everything. If you want sold. one. Yep. Now this, this is something special. This is uh, my 93 Toyota Corolla 11. Uh, AE101 model for anyone who's wondering. Silver top, 20 valve in it. Uh, it's had a bunch of engine work done to it. It's got 12 to 1 compression pistons, all that. Um, but the dude never put an aftermarket ECU tune fuel, so... Not bad. I still haven't been in this. I'm looking forward to that video. It's pretty quick. I'm looking forward to that segment of the day. I've done coilovers, um, because the original struts were gone and you can't find any aftermarket support for the uh, type of suspension that it is. Um, I've replaced CVs, ball joints, brakes, you know, pads, caliper like rotors just basically everything like everything suspension wise has been done um steering wise um i've done the valve stem seals as well on it but don't mind it yeah it stopped it smoking a little bit yeah it's made it better yeah uh it's got a full jasmine for jutsubo exhaust as well <laughs> so that's that's just all that um this thing's just my run-of-the-mill bus that i just cruise around in um, 2001 oh. M35 Stager. Old daily. Yep. Um, it's not bad. It's got a ton of features. I'm about it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty ahead of its time. I mean, if you compare it to like old European cars, not really. But um, power folding mirrors and you know, it's got cool seat, leather seats with seat warmers. Um, double electric sunroof. Uh, it's got like a soft closing boot. So it can, you know, you let it down and it um, gently close. I haven't got my key on me, so I can't show that's you. Right. It's not terrible. Window comes up separately. So uh, that's kind of sick. So like like tailgate, tailgate. Yeah, real cool. But yeah, so that's the front of house. Yeah, we won't worry about anything else because the rest of the stuff. Everything else online. here is not ours, and we don't care. Yeah, that's pretty much. So man yells a dog. Let's go. Uh, Let's go see the back of house stuff, because this is where the fun part starts. <laughs> and if, if you've seen any of the videos, you know we've already started working on this stuff. And we're about to do a whole heap more. So before you all ask, because someone's going to see it in the back of the video and go, Oh, what are yeah, they doing? That, yeah. There's two R33s here. What's both, the story? Both not mine. So, one on the left was my mother's. She crashed that. Yeah, the black one. Um, she crashed it, wrote it off. She did a good job. Yeah, she hit someone doing 50 or 60 or something on that corner oh. and just completely destroyed it. Um, oh. So she got it dropped off here with this tow truck. Um, and then after that, it just, I put it out the back here and it's just sat here ever since. Um, I did buy this shell, however, so we could reshell all of her bits into it, but she wasn't too keen on the fact um, and it's continued to stay here. So now there's two of them. 
one's completely loaded up and the other one's just a shell. So. so we're obviously just gonna literally ignore those for yeah. now. Yeah, um, I can't do anything with that. So. Look, one day if we get bored and feel like really annoying someone, that's what we'll probably do, but it's not gonna happen. We're not no. gonna get bored, no doubt. So next up's probably one of my favorites and I don't know why. Oh, one to be Hachiroku. <laughs> it's honestly probably it's probably just because when I've taken photos of it it looks it's got that like abandoned Japanese look every time I've seen it I mean it's got one rotor grid plastic on the back and the rest of them are just stockies you know the mis mismatched lost. drift wheels yeah it's got some bits hanging off some, it's got some broken pieces stage 2 lightning <laughs> I actually did that with a guard roller like I, I started to roll it out and all the bog fell out so <laughs> bonus points mint yeah, beautiful. This will be running again, hopefully soon. Um, I did a full four-age small port swap into it. Show us, show us what was going on here. This thing started off its life as a a four-a carby engine automatic. <whistles> so this is where we're at currently. So I'm actually super keen to work on this at some point, mainly because I want to play with the four-age, and this is kind of a good opportunity to do so. But we're gonna just basically leave it and neglect it some more and then yeah. we're going to come back to it when it's fresh and it we'll just running. we'll just work on this car it was running so it's not going to be a massive thing won't take long but Hopefully. we'll get to it yeah i think it's just wiring something's going wrong with the wiring so we'll look over that line that's not a biggie it's a background job yeah now we're moving into dangerous territory <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that don't know this is a Corona, I believe is an ST141? No, so the ST141s were the Carby model. Um, right. Th these are the RT142, so. All right, so that's a 14, I was close. Yeah, yeah, well it's a, it's a T14 chassis basically, so it's a uh, T-series uh, chassis, 14th generation of the chassis. Yeah, right. The first letter determines on what engine base it's got in it, whether it be an S series engine, R series, T series, su such and such. Yo. Yeah. Um, Knowledge bomb on that one, huh? Yeah, I spent way too long with Toyotas. Um, so this thing started off its life as just an automatic uh, 22RE, nothing special. Um, picked it up like 700 bucks, not running. Um, and yeah it got it all running it was all perfect um i had a run in with a gutter in the rear end and smashed it across and then did a manual conversion while i was at it something went wrong with the engine because i was rev rev limiting it quite a bit with the manual in it so i killed the engine um and then i thought let's just slap a random engine in it so now i've put a a 1g straight six twin turbo engine in it all right let's have a look at where we're at yeah, let's, let's, let's move let's some things because i know we're gonna get questioned about this yeah a lot of people do ask i know it's coming we also have a go-kart frame because we can because it was cheap and we we like cheap fun apparently 50 dollar go-kart frames are the go-to but whatever yeah more importantly appeal. it's not that appealing at the moment but it's definitely there it's all mounted up. So yeah, we're gonna end up doing some wiring and bits and pieces and... Yeah, it's got 86 front coils. I've put S13 ones in the rear um, and just used like Corona height adjust springs from, a, I think it's Corona and Corolla, use AJPS style springs or whatever. Um, so I've done that in the rear for the suspension stuff. Um, I've done a bunch of lock stop mods and everything else for suspension, steering and all that. Um, but yeah, this has got a W58 in it from a JZA80 non-turbo. Yeah, so right. It had a remote shifter on it and I've changed it all around so it's on the box instead. Um, it's about to get a, a Tarago diff in it because I want to retain the four stud. Um, being an F series, as they like to call it, I can get like a Kaz 2 way for like fucking 1200 bucks or something. So pretty good so we'll actually go in depth with all yeah. of these cars when we get to them um it's just a, a little bit of a skim over this is like a skim over of ricky's nature emporium because basically there's too much stuff going on in videos to not kind of explain it before we go to ham so currently this is where we're at yeah, all right look the shift is tough <laughs> bmx grip shifters 
Look, I may have something coming for those real soon, so if, if you want one, slide into my DMs. Uh, I'll be making it happen. But yeah, so now we move into... We don't, we don't look at that. We, we ignore that. We move into... <laughs> Here. Um, yeah, so we've got a random engine sitting in the middle of the floor. Oh, we don't look at that. Basically, it's a spare motor, don't worry about it. Spare motor, okay. Long story short... Shutting the bonnet quickly because we got to look at it. That came from a friend of mine's house and then ended up at another friend's house. It was also Ricky's friend and then it moved from his house to Ricky's house and now it just sits in the corner and we don't talk about it. Yeah, it's sat in the corner for about a month. So this is where we've started. Turbo. Alright, so do you want to actually explain what this is? Because like, a lot of people, I know people are going to not know what this is because yeah, I straight up didn't know what this was. So, this has become like a new cult following this car over in Japan because they've become such a scarce for you. It's, um, the model code is a TT142 Corona um, hardtop coupe. It uh, has a twin spark 1.8 litre engine with a turbo on it. So um, if you've been watching, you've already seen us start this yeah. car. Yeah, and start by mean start, I mean we actually started doing something with it. Yeah. Um, bits and pieces. Let's open this up. Let's, let's check it out. So if you haven't seen the other video, go have a look. There'll be a, a video from Ricky's birthday and another video. And... So yeah, there's a, a video from Ricky's birthday and there's another video where we just start cleaning up in here and getting into it because it just makes sense. I've had this thing since 2013 and it's just sat. So um, I keep getting distracted and finding all kinds of, you know, other projects to waste time on instead of concentrate on this. So I think it's about time, you know, I've had it for about eight years, so. So basically, long story short, <clears throat> we're going to just work through some of Ricky's cars. Um, it's oh. a little bit like, <sighs> how, how to explain it? So basically, it's easier for us to have a couple of people doing stuff and doing different bits and pieces because obviously, as most of you are probably aware, when you're creating content, it gets really hard to do one car at once with out of budget. So. We're basically going to get this running because also it'd be super sick and I, never, I didn't even know what this was until Ricky opened the shed one day and we we're like, oh yo, uh, what the mm. hell's this? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so we will be doing more on that and I'm excited. I'm, I'm keen. I've never seen one run. I've never even seen one until recently. But yeah, so you'll see a heap more of Ricky hopefully. You'll probably see a heap more of Paddy because um, Patrick's car's getting swapped. I'm so keen for that. Hopefully Franco comes to hang out. <laughs> Um, I have said it before, but if, if you are interested in making videos and you live in Adelaide, let me know because I always want to film more stuff. And yeah, hopefully we'll make a heap more progress. I'm currently going through the Supra and doing that stuff, which you'll probably also be seeing um, on there now currently. And yeah, like we just, I have a lot of friends with a lot of cool shit, so I think it's time we kind of showcase some of that stuff because no one's doing it. But this has been a super long talking video. So I'm going to end it here. I hope that you all kind of enjoyed Ricky's Nature Emporium for now. We'll be back with more probably next week. Hopefully. But yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know when you'll see it, but by the time you see it, we'll be back with more. So uh, By the time you see it, it might be done. Who knows? Yeah. It just depends on motivation. <laughs> <laughs> could be turbo, could be pushing. <laughs> but yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And holy shit, it's a clown. <laughs> Have a great night.